Hello, I'm Adam from No Rolls Bard, and welcome to Board Game Club, where the first rule of Board Game Club is screw it, I'm doing the whole thing, I must not fear. Fear is the mind killer. Fear is the little death that brings total obliteration. I will face my fear. I will permit it to pass over me and through me. And when it is gone past, I will turn the inner eye to see its path. Where the fear is gone, there will be nothing. Only I will remain. That rules. Every week we gather together a group of our friends here at Drafts Board Game Cafe in London to play a board game to show you how much fun board gaming can be. This week we're playing Dune, a game of conquest and diplomacy designed by Bill Everly, Jack Kittrich, Peter Alotka, Greg Alotka and Jack Reader and published by Gale Force 9 who sent us a copy Thanks very much. In the game, we'll be playing four of the great houses of the universe jostling for control of Arrakis, Dune, Desert Planet, and all the spice that flows therein. The way to win the game is to occupy three of the five strongholds dotted around the board. Now, you can't win the game in the first two turns. You have to occupy these strongholds at the ends of turns five, four, all three, but what you can do in turns one and two is try and build up your hordes of spice. See, in the game, much like in Frank Herbert's fictional universe, spice is everything. We'll be using it to pay for powerful cards. We'll be using them to ship troops to the planet, bring dead troops back to life, all the fun of the fair. We can get spice by harvesting it from various places on the planet where it appears every single turn. But that comes with its own dangers. Maybe we'll be gobbled up by a terrifying sandworm or more likely we'll be attacked by the other bastards around the table. Yay for combat! So when any two forces end their turn in the same territory, they must fight. To do so, they take each a battle wheel. Shut up, this is cool. They choose how many of the troops in that space they're going to send into the fight and they will die. Uh, what leader they will be sending into the fight and also what weapons or defense they'll be sending through as well. But be careful what leader you send into battle because if your opponent secretly has them on a traitor card, you instantly lose the fight. The rest will explain as we play. The spice must flow, but the question is, in which direction? Let's find out as we play Dune. Joining me for this week's game of Board Game Club, I am joined by Laurie. Hello. Joined by Tom. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been here for a while. I don't know which camera it is. <laughs> also, Blair's here. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Has Sully not been here to throw you off that much? <laughs> Maybe. Do you miss him so? Aww. Yeah, Sully. Oh, it's okay. Su <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Sully's not here for this one. I can't wait to read your comments about that. Uh, but Sully will be here next week, so don't worry about it. It's fine. <laughs> anyway, we're playing June. Huzzah! Oh. Uh, we've already sorted ourselves into our houses, which we will reveal right now, starting with Tom. The middle one. Uh, I'm House Fremen, and I live here. Cool. Basically, yes. Hi, I am the Atreides. <laughs> I've seen Dune and read it. <laughs> I'm Paul. This is going to go well. <laughs> um, basically. Little, little Timothy. That's all I know. Is that your face? Really good cheekbones. Yeah. That's that's it. Yeah. <laughs> um, basically, what I can do is, uh, before a battle, I can ask my opponent to show me one part of their battle strategy, and then I get to choose whatever I want to do after I've seen that. You can see into the future. Yes. Also, you have the most, uh, have the most leaders, leaders, because you're the protagonist. Mm. 
Hello, everyone. I'm the Empire.、Boo. Yay! Boo. Established Boo. order. Established order.、Uh, I am the Imperium, which means I control、uh, the Empire's army and the Bene Gesserit, which means, first of all, I'm mega rich, and I can also use the voice to force people to conduct their battles in a certain way. But who's playing the House of the Pale Bald Men? Who's You're, you're not. Wait, you, you're not. Pretty sure I'm not. Oh, okay. So wait, who's playing house? That be me. I'm House Harkonnen. We've got many advantages in House Harkonnen. One, we're freed from the burden of hair, and two, <laughs> the most very, we have, very we're very fucking traitors. The most, the most streamlined. I'm being negged by this game. <laughs> I'm being negged by the game. The bald guys are the traitors. Fine, fine, fine. They're literally all bald. They're all bald. <laughs> We're a very streamlined army.、Uh, yes, you have the most traitors.、Uh, right. So we, it, there's a bit going on in this game.、Uh, we all basically. You can't win in the first turn, so every single turn I'll go through every single phase, and we'll discuss basically what we're doing and why we're doing it.、Um, you can only win the game. This is important to note.、Uh, at the end of turns three, four, and five, and you can win the game by holding three out of the five strongholds. Or at the end of turn five, whoever's got the most points, five points for every stronghold you own,、uh, plus one point for every spice. So spice. Is the currency spice is what we'll be using to ship troops to the planet to to fight to revive our troops from the Tleilaxo tanks. I like Dune, and we'll in Tom's case snort it. <laughs> yes, basically, <laughs> keep rubbing it in his gums. Oh, we should have got you some blue contact lenses. So for the Fremen, the spice goes directly from sandworm lava butts to our mouths, and then out your butts <laughs> back into the sandworth mouth. It's a it's, it's the circle human, of the human centipede. It's quite beautiful. The human centipede.、Oh, that is、sandwich. maybe the best joke we'll hear、no. today. All right.、Uh, so yes, we're going to play. We're going to make a lot of stupid Dune jokes.、Um, Blair is going to impart all the knowledge of Dune that she has.、Yeah. Um, for every time Blair makes a move, she will impart one of her Dune facts. Yes.、Uh, we're going to start the game with a Dune fact. So,、uh, fun fact: the polar sink. I、uh, was actually created by polar bears. Not many people know this,、um, but there are sand polar bears that used to live on Dune and were pets of the Fremen. On that point, Blair, <laughs>、oh, before we start the game, as part of the game setup, the Fremen begin with five forces in the polar sink. Because of all their polar Because bears. Because they evolved from bears. <laughs> Because they evolved from polar bears. Evolved from bears. <laughs> That's why they're called the Fremen. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so.、Um, <coughs> We start.、Um, we're going to find out who the first player is by rolling this dice. The dice goes from zero、uh, to six, but also with a storm icon. Storm is the highest, so we're all going to roll that and see who goes first. Well, one. It's not me. Could be. It's a zero.、Oh, it's not me. It's me. It's me. <laughs> Three.、Oh, God damn it. <gasps> hey.、Oh. The Fremen are the first player to start with. All right, so we are starting the first turn, and the first turn begins with the storm phase. The storm、uh, goes around the planet anti-clockwise, depending on how many、uh, spaces Tom rolls with this dice as the first player. The storm will eradicate any troops that are out in the sand. The only places that are safe from、uh, the storm are the polar sink.、Uh, these rock. Uh, territories here, and of course the strongholds. It, any spice, any troops that are caught out in the sand、uh, during a storm passing over them will be destroyed. Apart from, of course, the Fremen. You're the only player. You're the only faction that survives the storm. It's just a bit of sand. I don't see what the fuss is about. Just tuck your socks in. It gets in your eyes and your hair and, and your butt, and your butt crack. Yeah, it gets in your eyes, mate. <laughs> Fremen butt cracks are famously sealed. <laughs> They're sealed. <laughs> <laughs> They healed over. Yeah, exactly.、Yeah. Okay, got that built in、oh, no. still suit. <laughs> oh god. Four spaces. So the storm goes one, two, three. Four. That is where the storm is. Also, it's worth noting you can't move into a space with the storm. You can't move through it at all.、Um, you are safe from the storm in the rocks, but you can't move to any sand space with the storm in it. The storm currently occupies this sector of、mm. the board. All right. So we next move on to the spice blow, which is where the spice will be. 
for this round. Spice is important. Spice pays for everything. Tom, please turn over the top card of the Spice deck. So this Spice Blow was an eight spice spice blow. Add eight spice to, how do you pronounce that blow? You've seen the movie. Yep. Silago <laughs> <laughs> C- C- East mm. and the Great Flat. All right, so the Great Flat is here. There is eight spice there. And then, <laughs> what was the other one? Silago East. There we go. Oh, there's going to be so many June heads just screaming. I know. I'm screaming so at their screens so at this sorry. game. Uh, so it's down here. There you are. All right. And it goes in that sector there. Mara Lago. All right. That is where the spice is. Spice place face done. Now we gain cards. Oh, actually, no. We, uh, we have missed a thing. We the have traitors. missed a thing. The traitors, of course. It's not important that we've missed it until now. Uh, but every one of us gets four tra- well, every one of myself, Blair, Tom, gets four of these traitor cards and gets to pick one, just one, to keep. You'll notice I'm not dealing any to Laurie. We'll find out why. It's because I'm honest and nice. That's it. All right, so everyone has a traitor. Uh, in battles, um, normally whoever side's got the biggest force or the best weaponry or the best leader will win. However, there is a way for you to automatically lose a battle, and that's if you go into battle with a leader who is on someone's traitor card. So we each got to get four cards and keep one. Now these get shuffled back into the deck. Oh no. Laurie gets to take eight and keep four. Uh, which means Laurie has the most traitors. Laurie has his grubby little paws in all of our factions, which means fighting Laurie is going to be a fucking nightmare. Mm. I feel like we've been horribly miscast in this. The bald people. Also the traitors. The people with all the people. Although maybe being a traitor just means that because we're so bald and we're so beautiful, more and more people want to side with us. Maybe we're the most appealing people in the galaxy. Yeah, sure, we look a little wet all the time. That's just a thing. Ignore that. Uh, Next, we move on to the the gain cards phase. Everyone takes four uh, battle cards. Uh, Well, you've got to make sure you draw up so that you have a max hand of four. Now, these battle cards are weapons, Uh, Defense cards, there's some useless cards thrown in just to fuck with you, I guess. Uh, And these cards are ones that can help you in a battle. For example, shields can protect you from projectiles. Poison can uh, kill people who have shields. Uh, If you have a laser gun uh, and it combines with a shield, it causes a thermonuclear explosion which kills everything in the space. Delightful stuff. Uh, But also, the game cards phase is where we get market cards. Now these are special one-off kind of superpower cards. They're super useful uh, and anyone can buy one at this gain cards phase, but it will cost you two spice and spice is very, very important mm. because it is one of the ways to win the game at the end of things. So the question is, who would like a market card? I have to give that to you, don't I? That's right. it normally goes to the bank, doesn't it? Yes. Every, uh, I will, uh, each of these costs two spice, these market cards. I pay that two spice to the bank. Everyone else pays it to me because I own the markets. Dollar, dollar, y'all. Uh, so, uh, yes, thank you very much for that, Laurie. I, uh, would anyone else like a market card? I do. They're going cheap. Give me money. There you go. Thanks. Appreciate that. Hey, Fremen, would you like a market card? Yeah, we need some change though for my five. (laughs) (laughs) Jesus. All right, so I will give you, there you go. That is your change. Um, I just need, you take two, right? Yep. There we go. So basically, you've all paid me two spice, so I'm just gonna take all the money that you guys have paid me just to get essentially three free market cards. Pass me a card, please, Laurel. Oh, Adam. Thank you. That's actually pretty good. I mean, oh no, bad card. <laughs> Terrible. That's the game cards phase. We now move on to the revival phase. Uh, this is where at any time in battle your forces are killed. They go here to the Tleilaxo tanks. Um, they're the people who basically create like clones of dead people. 
you'll find out about it in June, Messiah. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Uh, but um, during the revival phase, you can bring your dead forces back to life. You get two free revivals every turn. Plus, you then have to pay spice of one spice per force to revive more. Also, leaders, if they die, they will cost you the number on them to revive. So this would cost me three. Uh, right. Uh, unfortunately, no one is dead. Well, I guess fortunately no one is dead. We now move to the shipping and movement phase. So the shipping and movement and the battle, that is the main heart of June. Now, Tom, you start with five in the Polar Sink and every round, instead of shipping people to the planet, you can just add another five of your troops to the Polar Sink. Yeah, because this is literally my house. Oh, get <laughs> over it. Jeez. <laughs> Uh, everyone else can ship troops to any space they want uh, for the cost of one spice per troop. After you've shipped, everyone gets one uh, load of movement where they can take any number of their troops, either some of them or all of them, and move them up to three spaces away, three territories. All of these big things here are territories. Territories go through multiple sectors. You only have to worry about sectors when it comes to the storm. Uh, so, uh, unfortunately, the Fremen also have an exception to this rule. They can move one group, if they choose, up to six spaces away because they live here. It's almost as if we've been here before for millions of years. <laughs> <laughs> or you can move two groups, uh, the normal three territories away. So, Tom, you've shipped, well, you've, you've grown I have not, here. Yes, I, I've continued to remain at home. Okay. Yes. Um, what would you like to do movement-wise? <clears throat> so I'm going to move one of my groups um, three territories away. I'm going to go win the pass and then straight into the Great Flats. Um, and then I'm going to move this group into, how do you pronounce that, Blair? Uh, Siliago North. <laughs> and then how do you pronounce this one? Siliago East. Yes, yeah. and that's my movement. Now we move clockwise around to Lorry. How much spice you got? Uh, I have currently, bad maths, 13 spice. Mm. I'm going to pay six spice, so I'm going to take a little bit of change. Pay some six spice to send six little guys down. Ew. They drop head first. <laughs> the ball lets them cut through the atmosphere. <laughs> Just over here. Like little bullets. Yeah. Like little, <laughs> like little pale sperm. Yeah. Um, so, cool. We have um, two uh, factions in one space. You can never have more than two factions in one space. So now no one can ship to this. It's full. Uh, however, other people can ship here. Um, would you like to do any movement? Uh, no, I think I'm fine, thanks. Okay, cool. Harkonnen's immediately going to try and wipe out the Fremen. Yeah. How apropos. Right, um, now it's my turn. I am going to spend... What am I going to do? I'm going to spend... 10 spice. Because I can, I, can, I can afford it. I'm going to spend 10 spice to send 10 dudes. I'm going to put them all into Arakeen, which is the capital of June. We decided it was, doesn't matter what the Fremen say. <laughs> and then I'm going to use my movement to move my other lads, boom, to Carthag. I now have two out of the three strongholds that I need. The real capital of June is, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I've bought a lot of flags and I'm going to put them up. How many do you have five there? Oh. Blair heroically <laughs> mustering her invasion force. The native population <laughs> of June. Um, it doesn't matter how many times you say you're sorry, I'm Blair. Sorry. Here we come, the protagonist. Look at our cheekbones, protagonist. <laughs> Cutting everyone in sight with their cheekbones. Yeah. One, two, three. Battle time. The emperor's just going to sit back and watch his people destroy each other. Uh, so we starting with the first player, uh, we go through all of the battles uh, that uh, will be happening. Anytime uh, the battle phase happens and there are uh, two factions in the same space, they must fight. They must fight and one of them must be destroyed entirely. Woo! Yes, so uh, Tom, 
you are the first player, so you get to decide which battle you're fighting first, because you are facing a war on two fronts. I'm going to deal with the person with more integrity. <laughs> they say, yeah. Rather than the Atreides who say, oh, I'm really sorry, I'm so but sorry. I'm still going to murder you. <laughs> sort your shit sorry, out, Atreides. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Blair. Yeah! <laughs> With friends like these, who needs fremenies? We're having a battle now. Um, I'm just going to run through everything as, as it happens. Uh, so the battle wheel, <laughs> lovely little battle wheel, if you could show it to the camera, please, Laurie. Look at this sexy battle wheel. Um, at the top, you've got a little bit for your forces. Now, you can only put in maximum the number of forces you have. So, for example, Laurie has six, Tom has five. You can put in maximum six forces, you can put in maximum five. However, any forces you put in will die. So you don't necessarily want to put in your maximum force, unless Tom just wants to go on a kind of suicide run. Um, but yeah, you don't want to put in all six because there won't be anyone left to harvest the spice, mm. which is why you're there. Also, you harvest the spice at a rate of two spice per one troop. So if you want all the spice, you need to have a fair few people there. Just something to keep in mind. Then you, uh, so you, you assign the number of your forces at the top of your battle wheel. Then you secretly assign a leader now that leader has a number, for example, this guy has a three, uh, this guy has a five, or oh, the Reverend Mother has a six. That number gets added to your force number. And like in Cosmic Encounter, simply put, the highest number wins. However, you can also add battle cards. Uh, battle cards gen generally come in two types, weapons and defense. You can put in one weapon and one defense card should you wish. And what these weapons do is they assassinate the other people's leaders or they defend against people trying to assassinate your leaders. So basically all this battle wheel stuff leads us to essentially having two numbers. Whichever number is biggest wins. So if there is a tie with this number, the first player, Tom, has battle advantage and they will win. So the Fremen have a slight advantage going into this, but then again, Laurie does have the numbers advantage and also the traitor advantage. Oh yeah, sorry, haven't done that yet. Uh, so yeah, Let's put this back. Take this. Every single God. battle, Laurie it's can. Bad news for you. <laughs> Laurie oh, can. No. But for later. Every single battle, Laurie can take a traitor card, put it to the bottom, and take a new traitor card. So he's just cycling through all of these people that he has kind of an unscrupulous hold over, and they could be any one of our people. It's really, really frightening. Mm. Righto, uh, the battle is happening uh, for the Great Flat. Do you have your battle plan sorted and ready to go? Yes. All right, please, first of all, put your battle cards face, uh, face down so you can't swap them out. And now, reveal. All right, so we have a force of five with Baron Harkonnen. So Laurie's coming in hot with 11, mm. and Tom is there with seven. However, if Tom can defeat Baron Harkonnen's uh, leader, then Tom might win this. All right, so... Well, I've tried to block with an extraction fan. All right, so you're blocking against poison. <laughs> 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 is that That's a... a very good thing. Is that a laser-proof extraction fan? Sadly not, it's only a poison-proof extraction oh, fan. No. Bang, bang, another oh. trucker. All right, so Tom has hit you with a Maula pistol, which assassinates your leader. Yeah, but I'm going to play my market card, which is Poison Tooth. Play after battle plans have been revealed. Kill both your leader and your opponent's leader, no matter what defense Whoa. card your opponent played. Oh, that okay. is Ouch. rough. Okay, so both these are dead. I'm going to play my other battle card, which is Endless Ranks. After revealing battle plans, you may increase the number you dialed to as high as the number of forces you have in the battle. Oh! oh. oh. Assured destruction. <gasps> You may, why but, not, right? I mean, it's either, it's either leave one of your guys here, or yeah, everybody <gasps> dies. So that leaves us with a tie. Tom has advantage, which means everybody <laughs> dies. Dang. Because Tom has sent all five of his troops to their death, but it does make sure that Laurie's six troops are all mm. dead because, because you have won the battle. Because I've won, do I get spice for all the dead leaders as well? Uh, yes, you do. Ooh. The winning the winning person gets spice for every dead leader in the battle, which means you get 11 spice. I'm going to harvest everybody's okay. corpse. Yeah. 
There you go, Tom. Who would have thought that after Tom killed my leader, so I killed his leader, and then he boosted the numbers of troops in the field so that nobody was left alive? Why are you so bothered about the planet? How can you even live on the planet if everyone's dead? All right, so we're now settling this battle here for Che Largo East. Um, Blair, you have eight troops against Tom's five. There's lots of explanation in the first round. Don't worry, the next rounds will be a lot less explainy because we'll be doing the same things over and over again, trying to wrest control of June, Arrakis, desert planet. Have you chosen everything? Oh, I've chosen everything. May I see <laughs> your weapon of choice? Thank you. That's right. So Blair mm. has prescience as the Atreides Thanks. and gets to see what weapon Tom has chosen and then change her battle plan accordingly. Get there. Oh, hold on. Sorry. Sorry. It's all, it's sorry. All. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. 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 <laughs> sorry. 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 <laughs> all right. Here we go. Tom has sent in Stilgar. Uh, so four plus seven, 11. Um, Lady Jessica, so five plus six, also 11. But let's see which leaders survive the battle. Uh, Bled, have you played a weapon card? I have not. <gasps> no. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. I have played a weapon card. Yeah. All right. You've played the Gomjabar. Poison. Mm. Uh, Tom, what does it do? Kill opponent's leader before battle is resolved. Opponent may protect leader with an extraction fan. Mm. Oh, very good, Blair. But it doesn't really matter because my other weapon was just worthless. I wanted to get rid of it. <laughs> hey, it's a sandworm mural. Look, That's not worth it. Look at him. Aww. Oh, now you respect our culture. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't. I'm pretty sure you're the bad guy. I mean, I think, I think I'm the bad guy. I'm just watching you guys just destroy each other in the sand while I'm getting rich and living in the cities. Don't give Chalamet a free pass here. <laughs> <laughs> Timote Chomlet. Mr. Chomley Womley. Timothy, uh, I well, want I the planet, think... Mummy. Mummy, please. I want John. No, Paul. Please. No, Paul. <laughs> but Mummy, the planet is Messiah bad. Paul. <laughs> but Mummy, the prophecy, Mummy. So we've got fucking Paul. Eleven each. <laughs> yeah. So. You have won the tie, which means Blair is the loser. However, you did not assassinate Blair's leader, so Blair gets to keep Lady Jessica, and you don't get Spice for killing her. But and uh, but Blair's all of Blair's forces, all Ouch. eight of them, Ouch. go to the tanks. Not good. Uh, you lose four because that's the people you put at hazard, which means you do have one one, guy. one lone oh lad. God. Basically, Stilgar is still out there. Um, to harvest spice at the end of this. All right, those are all the battles. So I take Everybody's my... Everybody's dead. I also take my leader back from here and put him back in my leader pile. You do, you've got still got to fight another day. Uh, right, that was the battle phase. Um, God damn, the Fremen. Yeah. The Fremen just saw Don't everybody off. Them. I'm a huge well, fan. Well, they lost all their guys, but yeah. Almost. There's a lot of guys gone. Hello. Uh, right, um, just before we, as we move on to the spice collection phase, I do just want to play this. Uh, unclaimed spice. Before spice is collected, move up to five of your forces from one territory using normal movement rules to an unoccupied territory with spice. Oh so I'm just gonna move uh, four of these lads. Ugh. One, two, three. Ugh. There we go. All right, spice collection. Each lad can collect uh, two spice. So there is two spice for you. And there is Eight spice for me. Just don't know what to do with it all. I am quite literally rolling in spice. I have an insulting amount of money. I am a. I could basically dive into my spice Scrooge McDuck style and come out with these really weird blue eyes. I, at this point, I don't know what I'm going to spend it on. Maybe I'll fly to space. That seems to be the fashion. That's it. Nothing else to be done. Then the first player token moves to the bad guys. 
the Atreides. Um, we go back to the storm and we move on to turn two. Now, the game still can't be won in the first or second turns, only in the third, uh, fourth, or fifth. Uh, so, Blair, roll okay. that storm. Ooh. It can move up to six spaces. Great. Here we come. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh. So that's wiped out both of those, right? No. Oh, it's only where it ends. They're in the city. They're safe in strongholds, yeah. Yes. Oh, are they? Oh, yes. Oh. So there's only sand spaces and only where the storm ends up. If the storm went over these guys in the Great Flat, yeah, absolutely, they'd be eradicated. Okay. But they, we, no, these, they're, they're cities. They're is it where it passes on the board? Yeah, it, it literally, it everything. passes over it, everything yeah. is destroyed. Oh, fuck. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> we need to get good at sand, guys. All right, now this is the only, this is the thing that could really screw me. Because if a sandworm appears here, hmm. then all my forces die there. Uh, so spice blow. Um, Fremen, may we see where the spice is being this round? Ah. Whew, safe. That is six spice to South Mesa. Oh. And six spice to the minor erg. The minor erg. The other one's better. <laughs> All right, so where's the South Mesa is... Oh, here. Boom. This is where the spice is. All right. Gain cards time. You can gain a maximum of three. Uh, you draw your hand back up to four battle cards. Cost me one, please. Absolutely. There you go. Thank you. And then um, you can get market cards, should you so wish. Would anyone like to buy a market card? I think I will. I'll just pay two spice to the bank. <sighs> Boom. There we go. I'll send you two. Thank you. I've got a couple it. of market cards. Oh. Two market cards, you say. Oh, they're very important. That's two more spice for me and two market cards for you. Pleasure doing business Just with so you. Just so you know, I paid for those cards with the spice I harvested from Blair's corpse. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want, I want market cards, but I have no spice. Oh, Blair, what uh, happened? I got hurt. Oh, did Timothy yeah, scrape many, his knee? Yeah, he fell over. Oh, no. <laughs> He dropped all of his spice, <laughs> and then it was eaten, no, no, and no, then no. blown away. <laughs> Moving on to the revival phase. Everyone gets two forces back for free. And then anyone can pay more spice to get their lads back if they want. So uh, at, a, at a further cost of one spice per normal troop, or the spice printed, on the token for leaders. So for example, Liet Kynes would cost you five spice, Baron Harkonnen would cost you six. So, um, Blair, pronounce that top word for me. Tlilaxu Gola. Very good, that's correct. Hey! 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 <laughs> Play during revival to gain extra revival. To revive one of your leaders or up to five forces from the <gasps> reserves at no cost. So I'm just wow. gonna revive. Market cards! Oh, bloody oh hell. Oh my God. Very nice. No leader left behind. All right, uh, so we men move on to shipping and movement, starting with Blair. Hmm. Right, okay. Um, I am going, oh God, do I just spend the rest of my spices? That's really silly. I think that's really silly. I'll send two. <laughs> <laughs> two little lads. Two. Go get them, fellas. <laughs> uh, to South Mesa. Okay. Do I want to do that? Yes, I do. Oh dear. Fremen just like, hmm. <laughs> hmm. Don't worry about it. I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm not coming for you. <laughs> no, I, I don't. Learned, no, I, I dare say lesson. you're not, Blair. No. I my lesson. <laughs> oh no. It's not you that's coming for us. All right. Um, <laughs> would you like to move any, any of your dudes? You're just going to leave them there? Just going to leave them there. Excellent. Yeah. Okay, I am going to uh, send. How many more folks have I got? I've got ten. I'm going to send my. I'm going to send the rest of my ten folks uh, down to the planet. One, two, three, four, five. So that is ten spice. I'm going to send my other lads down. I'm going to send them both to Habanier Habanera Sietch, Habania Sietch. 
That's, yeah, why not? Siege. 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 So you now occupy three strongholds. I do occupy. Uh, if this, um, if I hold on to all of these, uh, by the end of the next round, I'll have won. Don't kill me, I'm lovely. I'm just trying to establish order. Why do people hate empires? I'm establishing order. I've, I've brought a lot of lovely flags. I'm working on a national anthem and it's gonna sound brilliant. I, it, all I'm trying to do is help the planet. Help me to help you. I can't get them to the CH. Oh, well, damn, there's another stronghold right here. I'm gonna go one, two, three. I'm gonna move them there. I didn't notice. I saw it in the end. <laughs> right, I've got four strongholds. Empire. Why do no one like me? Right, um, that's me done. Harkonnens. Um, I'm gonna play four. <laughs> oh, poor Blair! No. <laughs> Please! You know what, Harkonnen, it's about, it's about it. time someone else stood up to those bullies. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> I, I support this. The plucky Harkonnens, fine. <laughs> Fuck your <laughs> cheekbones! <laughs> <laughs> you know what, you were the underdog to this yeah. story now. We've got one huge cheekbone running <laughs> yeah, through exactly. our eyes to the back of our heads. It's terrifying. The fact that the Harkonnens are becoming the plucky underdog to the story where the Atreides are the villains <laughs> is wonderful to me. So I'm going to continue to live at my house. Whose house? So those are my five into the polar sink. Um, I'm also going to uh, use the free shipping market card at no, <gasps> at no cost, add up to four more of your forces from reserves to uh, your four shipment, including Fremen, so four more people continue to live in their house. Very good, mark cards. And in terms of movement, Jesus Christ, um, I'm going to move two Fremen into. How do you pronounce that, Blair? Uh, that is Silago East. <laughs> Very good. Um, so <laughs> during the uh, spice collection phase, I can get all that spice, and then everyone else is moving into this stronghold. Yeah, Ooh. makes sense. All right. I'm going to use my market card now, unless you guys think otherwise. It says during shipping and movement phase or battle phase. Mm -hmm. um, I guess I could have just saved this for next phase. But anyways, I'm going to look at two random cards, either two battle or two market cards, your choice of any other player. Oh, absolutely. Lori, Who would you like? Can I look at two of your market cards? You've only got one market card, but you can. Oh, hmm. I have three market cards. I don't care about you. <laughs> All right, Blair, I don't care about you either. You're tiny. I could fit you in a salt shaker and just do that. Eat, eat shit. How dare you? I'm the emperor. It's made me more annoyed than I care to be. No, all right, I'll look at two of your, your battle cards. Thank you. Ooh. Yeah, it looks bleak for you. All right. It's time for battles. Uh, so everyone's in a battle um, this turn. Um, we've got the uh, we've got the Atreides versus the Harkonnens, the old clash of the Titans. The real mm. goodies versus baddies. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. exactly. Yeah. And then we have <laughs> handsome goodies versus mm. ugly baddies. And then we have uh, the people's champions, the Empire versus the uh, scruffy ne'er do wells. That is the Fremen. What's that? Sorry, I didn't hear what you said. In the can of you being a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's. That's fair. The Empire are the special kind of cowards who throw their weight around until someone bigger comes along and then cry into their bedsheets when that someone pushes back. Okay. May I see your weapon card? Yeah, sure. This is, oh, are you? Well, it's just a, that's just one of my cards. You have, I suppose you have to see my battle plan cards, like. If that is the card that you've played instead of your weapon card, then yes, that's what you should be saying. Okay, cool, great, great. It's a worthless card, basically, is what's no, just happened. No, 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 no. It's really not. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Oh. All right, so Blair has seen a strange card that Laurie has played from his battle deck and is now choosing your battle card. <clears throat> All right, are both battle cards chosen? Yeah. Pop them face down. So they cannot be changed. And then reveal your wheels. So seven. Who have you got? Versus six. Lido. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, oh not the Lord Lido. Oh, no. 
<laughs> oh god. Why? Oh no. Uh, at this point, the battle cards are irrelevant. They both get yeah. burned. Um, the battle is instantly lost uh, from. Uh, unfortunately. Oh god. Uh, all of these go to the tanks. Oh, oh Blair. We don't. My dad. My own dad. Why? Oh, Blair. You angular motherfucker. That's the thing, you didn't think, did you? Leto, he was on the take the entire time. I, I don't know how I'm gonna come back. <laughs> I, <laughs> I'm, I think I might be in deep shit. <laughs> I think you're in a shade of deep shit. <laughs> Unfortunately, you're in the worst positions, that's why I came here. Hey look, you're, this is the part of the hero's journey where you face your lowest point, yeah. right? So maybe you can come back from this. But oh, fuck, no. man. You I think you've got to go live in a rock for I about 20 years yeah. and then until you discover your full range of yeah. psychic powers. Yeah. All right. Okay. Well, let's fun. do this. Do you have champion's advantage at the moment? Um, yes, because uh, uh, I am the next player in line. I have okay. battle advantage. I will bear that in mind when I take my vengeance out on play. All right. Before battle plans are revealed, I'm playing a market card. Uh, draw a traitor card from the deck to add to your hand, then place a traitor card from your hand at the bottom of the traitor deck. All right. Here goes nothing. <laughs> okay, bear with me. Got to pick some cards as well. Uh, I would like to use the voice. Okay. Try to understand it. So to make it clear. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. That's uh, how it works. Hold on, hold on. What, what is what is that reference? It's a really weird song that they love in Australia. <laughs> Great. Yeah. That's for that's for all of you Australian fans out there. You're the voice. Try to understand it. Millimoys that make it clear. Oh. I think like four people will know about that. Good content. Uh, so I'm going to send my Bene Gesserits to use the voice on you. Oh, hello! Could you please not use a... Mm, hang on! Could you not use a projectile weapon, please? I don't want you to use it. All right, you must it? obey the I voice! To listen to that you must obey the voice! Because we have a mutual enemy, the Atreides. <laughs> Sure. Scum. No, it's because of you's my special powers! <laughs> the voice! Yeah, mate. It's because you used your special powers. <laughs> the Bene Gesserit have done it again! Right, okay, so let's... Um, I am ready... when you are... Oh, bloody hell. Cool. I mean... Oh no, I'm screwed. Oh no! Alright, here goes nothing. Oh. So battle cards down. My ba battle cards are both down. I'm going to make sure I pick the ones I wanted. I did. Okay. And reveal the battle wheels. Now, isn't that a shame? Oh, she no. works for us. The oh, no. theme from Tune. <laughs> I literally pull, like, I, I use my battle card. Um, I used to have a different person, got her literally right at the last moment. Uh -oh. So, oh, SpaghettiOs. <laughs> SpaghettiOs indeed. Uh. Imperium! <laughs> That's a nice bit of luck. It is indeed. It is indeed. Luck, the coward's friend. <laughs> okay, spice collection time. Uh, the Fremen get all of this spice. That's for you guys. Um, the Huck Good shut up, Atreides. Nom, 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 nom. You shut the fuck up. Get all of this. <laughs> Blair, what happens I now? I don't. I literally don't know. What how do, how do, how do I? Now? What, what happens if I run out of spice? So um, you, so you have um, only one spice. At Spice Collection, uh, basically, in the theme of the game, you go begging for charity. Please. And you... Please. <laughs> Please, my po Cap in hand, poor little tiny Timothy. Goes <laughs> hand in hand. Uh, there you go. Oh. You get three. Oh. You get up to three Spice. Oh, yay. Wow, thank you. The comeback starts thank you, now. <laughs> Please. I, I have no Spice. Please give me some Spice. I... I, I, I'm not gonna do anything to you. I just, uh, I just need some spice. Please. 
Uh, we move on. The first player token comes to me. I have no more traitors now. So that is, yeah. you still have a traitor, you still have a traitor, and you still do. I've got some traitors. Yeah, you do, don't you, Harkonnens? Right, next up. Oh, one of each. Turn three. <gasps> At the end oh, of this God. turn, I can win. Basically, if the board state remains the same, I've won. I think this one's on you. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> so you've got to get this one, though. He tried last time. Yeah, but... It turns out... <laughs> Leah Kynes. The original Leah Kynes stand-up person. Um, the clone, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, we just put some programming in. All right, uh, next spice blow, please. This is the full Oh, no, time. sorry, the storm. I, I moved the storm first. Whoop. Six. Fucking hell. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six. Thank goodness I moved those lads. All right, uh, Spice Blow. Please reveal the next source of spice on the planet. <gasps> Is it a worm? Please, please. That's gifting him the win if it's a worm. Shai Halud are here. Shai <gasps> Halud! Oh, no. The mighty sandworm. Oh, nom, 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 nom. So oh, the no. Shai Halud uh, discard all spice and forces other than Fremen <laughs> in the territories now showing in the spice deck discard pile. So that is the South Mesa and the it's Minor fun. Erg, which means yum yum yum. Mm -hmm. All the spice has been eaten by a sandworm. Yum yum yum. All these boys Mother have been eaten by a sandworm. My luck is so shit. <laughs> <laughs> What did I do to have this luck? Uh, Maybe there was a treacherous sandworm on your payroll, right? Eh? Yeah. <laughs> Imagine. Let me have a look. Hang on. Let me have a look at the cards. Oh, Shai Halud. Yeah, he works for me. Just a picture of him in like a business. I've been, I've been offering him spice for ages. <laughs> he won't take your bribes. He keeps then, eating he my embers. He hasn't got any hands. <laughs> All right, so uh, next step, yeah. <laughs> then draw cards, discarding any more sandworm cards. Ah, oh, boo! Until another territory card is revealed and place spice there. Okay, Adam, can you please place eight spice in the old gap? And how do you pronounce that, Blair? Uh, Silago South. Mm. Oh, um, Blair. Seeing as we've uh, met our first sandworm of the game, can we get yeah. another June fact, please? So, I mean, sandworms, you were, it, interestingly enough, you are talking about trying to um, give them, like, something for their pockets. They actually have two million tiny pockets all over their body mm. that they store all of their little spice sachets in. They don't eat the spice. I know everyone thinks that they eat the spice, but they actually just store it in these little skin pockets. Um, for later consumption. Like someone trying to sell a bunch of watches. Yeah. <laughs> you got loads of... Well, do you right, want some spice? You want to buy some spice? <laughs> spice, I'm buy some spice. It's yeah. just come out my butt. Yeah. <laughs> what are you buying, strange? <laughs> Straight from the butt to the pocket. <laughs> uh, right, it is time to gain cards. It's my favourite phase. I'm going to gain uh, a market card. Go. Can you also... Um, here's some cash. I'm sure you need it. Have you a couple of market cards? Yeah, absolutely. These market cards are, are pretty rad. They are the bomb.com. I, I think I actually might spend some spice to get a market card in the hopes that it'll be something really good. I know I only have three spice, but I really want a market card. I really want one. So I think, I think I'm going to do it. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to go for it. Who knows? <laughs> Hey. I'd like a market card, please. <laughs> Blur, thank you. You could, have, you could redeem yourself by kicking the Empire out of Carthag. Yep. Potentially. But you're not going to, are you? Well, we'll see. Depends what the market card does. This market card shit. I don't, I don't want this. Why did I do this? Uh, right. Uh, it is time for shipping a... Uh, time for revival, sorry. Uh, everyone can revive uh, two forces for free. There you go. And then you can also spend spice to get back uh, your dead leaders as well, or any extra troops. I'm going to use my market card, which is swap <gasps> leaders, and get Lido back. Yay! And... I'm going to spend five spice the bank, I guess. Uh, yep. And I'm going to get, um, hopefully the second clone is a good one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I've already used um, the traitor, you know that 
I'm sure now Leah Kynes is fine. Yeah. Similarly, Duke Leto, this this new clone that you've bought. Yes. <laughs> you bought Leto. Yeah. You Box fresh. Daddy, you Duke Leto. Yeah. Yeah. Duke Leto. So I mean, Leto Two is a very different character. Duke Lee Two. Oh. Better. Mm. That's the one. Duke Lee Two. No, it's no. too no too much. Duh. Lee Two. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Uh, anyway, so you know <laughs> you know that your clone daddy yeah. is is a good boy. Yes, exactly. Oh, clone daddy. Yeah. Uh, hello, hello, clone daddy. <laughs> I've missed you so. Tell me, I'm good, clone daddy. <laughs> Do you have some spice for me? I, I programmed <laughs> you to be proud of me, clone daddy. <laughs> I am little Timothy. <laughs> me, 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 me. Little mouse boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm Timothy so Chalamet. Sorry, sorry about all of this. <laughs> Yes, Timothy Chalamet, watching this video, yeah. like, uh, these fucking guys. He's watched, he's watched all the Dune content, he's man. obsessed. Yes. Man, they fucking got me. They got me. Oh, they they, they rinsed me they good. got me. handsome. There's no coming back from this. <laughs> <laughs> all right. right, now, revival's done. Shipping and movement, very, very important. I am... Mm. I, have no, I, I have no more troops. <laughs> I haven't lost any. Uh, so all I can do is move, which <sighs> this may be a real dumb play, but I'm gonna. I feel like I have to. I'm. I've got. <sighs> I'm gonna move two here to Carthag, which basically gives me three, three, uh, four, and ten. Come at me. Yeah, it feels like it feels like you've got this in the bag at the moment. I own four strongholds. Four out of five. That's loads. I, it, all I have to do is hold on to just three of them. I can afford to lose one next go. And if I hold on to all three, I have won the game. Get your heat back where so you're, you're, if you're If you're spiceless or if you've got one hero. spice. Fun? Yeah. If you've only got one spice, you can just ask for spice. Uh, at the end of the round, yeah. yeah. Blair, Blair will get three spice. <laughs> Does Blair contribute to the... I can't believe Blair bought a market <laughs> Well, our army have no reserves. They are, they're eating their horses, but you know what? We're going shopping. We're going to the market, boys! So what happens if multiple people are involved in the same fight? Uh, so only two people can be in the same territory. Oh, right, okay. You can't uh, ever have a territory with three people on it. Sure. I mean, this is, this is suicide. Maybe so. Maybe could you maybe suicide, you've got, maybe could you you've got suicide my suicide at a more difficult one? <laughs> so that me and Tom have a chance to clear Adam out. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, actually. otherwise that's we can't. Send, otherwise, <laughs> sending one. That's a good point. Send Timothy to his death somewhere you know else. What? I'm going to go to this one. Oh my god. Oh, to be fair, if you somehow if beat I, me. Yeah. Oh, wait, hold on. If you have the right traitor or. If a, if a laser gun hits a shield, then literally everything there dies. That would be amazing. Okay. Yeah, going for it. We'll see. Yeah, man. <laughs> you don't get more underdog than that. It. Okay. So, five people continue to live in my house. That is five, right? That is five. Okay, so I'm going to move that group of three to City Ogre South. Could you ship this for me, Adam? Certainly. And then these guys are going to move into Carthag. All right, uh, Laurie. How many you got in? I got three in Arakeen. Three in each city. We, we need to clear out two strongholds by the end of this round, or the game is the empires. Yeah, that is correct. That is correct. So we have to win these battles, Laurel. So, oh, what? Yeah, also. I was going to say, how dare <laughs> you? Don't you know forget what? about me. <laughs> Sorry, mate. <laughs> I know I've been ragging on you hard, God. but in this one, I'm rooting for you. Thanks. Work up to it. So that's how many? That's five. All right. So, uh, are you no more movement happening? No more movement. Well then, the battle phase begins. Um, who's first? I, I, I basically, I'm, I get to choose because I'm in multiple battles. Blair, we'll save you till last. Um, right. Uh, let's fight the Harkonnens. Cool. In which case, you're going to need one of these. Thank I you. I ahead of myself. I keep thinking <coughs> that everyone has their own disc. Cool. I'm going to just don't. use Rearm from my market cards. 
Wait, what? So you what does that do? Discard one of my. Uh, to discard one of my cards. Oh shit! One of your battle cards. Yep. And draw a new battle card. Oh, I don't like that at all. Don't Thank do that. You. Oh dear! Oh dear! All oh, right. Yes, the ceremonial dance of June. <laughs> <laughs> June fact. <laughs> It's based on the giant sandworm. It's in I his can see honor. It. I feel you're definitely channeling, channeling that Shai Halud energy. Thank you. Okay. Well, this may be dumb, but I don't know. <laughs> Threw in spice over. Pockets full of spice. If you guys, uh, if you guys would excuse me, I have to uh, <clears throat> use another oh. case of the voice. Oh, hello! It's me, Benny! Could you please, could you please not use a special weapon to attack me, please? I don't want it. What's the difference between a special weapon and a weapon? It's got special written on the card. <laughs> oh, okay. Like this. Don't do it! Show me. Like that Oh, one. right, like that. Yep, fine. Don't, no. Don't. I won't. I've used the voice on you. It's so powerful. Right, uh, I'm good when you are. There are my two cards. <coughs> these are my two. Oh, these are important battles, boys. Three, two, one. Oh, Adam. No! No! Oh. Reverend oh. Mummy! Oh. Wait! Good job! Harkonnen! <laughs> Harkonnen! Yeah! Harkonnen. This is not, <laughs> this is not how June should be happening. Harkonnen! Harkonnen, the heroes of the galaxy, Harkonnen! Okay. Oh, right. Jesus. This game is nerve-wracking. Yep. Oh, this is horrible. I don't get any more battle cards as well. All right, uh, let's, let's, do, let's do this one. You have no battle cards? I have two. I have two left, but I don't get to re-up. Uh, my battle cards in between fights, which was dumb of me to spend two. Come, just... on, Tom. <laughs> Come on, Tom. Come on, Tom. Come on, Tom. Let me just pick my cards. The old card Pickington. Hello, me again. Could you please not, could you please not, could you please use a projectile weapon? Could I please use a projectile weapon? Yes, that's what I want. Please. All right. Please. Oh, boys, God. So there is my battle card. I just need to do a bit more maths, bear with me. He's saving the big guns for Blair, I see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scary. Uh, so, um, absolutely, if... Just gotta do just a good bit more thinking. No, that's fine. Um, in the meantime, Blair, can you give us a, uh, a quick June fact? I mean this in the nicest possible way. In the meantime, can you be quiet while I think? That's my Dune fact. <laughs> very, very nice. Yeah. It's still... Ah, screw it, okay. It was it coming out and then eating stuff and then pooping out and then flowers being born and then it throwing... Wait, what was the pooping out thing? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Blair. We've all been pooping out. <laughs> Revolting. <laughs> okay, um, I'm all set. Though. All right, battle cards being played. Battle cards. All right, out. here goes nothing. Three, two, one. All right, so that is seven versus nine. Uh, nine. Um, battle card. Battle card using a weapon. Um, you, well, I. You told me to. <laughs> oh yes, I did. So I'm using a mauler pistol. All right, so my defense sees that off. Your leader cannot be killed by a weapon, uh, but is killed. Uh, or yeah, no. Basically, it's a one-man army. Your weapon can't kill me. So my guy survives. But my second battle card. And it's a good one. <laughs> Oh. What's happening? The Jubber Cloak. Hey. It's a coat. It's oh. a worthless It's comfy. Oh. It's comfy. All right. So, uh, unfortunately, I haven't been able to, I wasn't able to play a weapon. But you keep a Salva car. Yeah. Delicious. Tom! Yeah! Freeman. Wait, you keep Freeman. it? Uh, yeah, my leader wasn't killed. So oh, you're, oh my, my leader God. comes back to me. Like... I thought you kept the territory. No, okay. all of my folks die. Oh, thank God. Uh, you guys lose four. So, four Fremen go to the uh, Talaxu tanks. 
All right, you've seen you've seen off my threat, but there is <laughs> one last threat one on last, the table. One last fight. Here she comes. One last fight to be a Adam Speed Racer <laughs> with a, a one force <laughs> that she can afford to put down because she bought a market card. <laughs> This is 300 She's Spartans going up right against, now, Blair. What's that, like 20 guys? <laughs> <laughs> All right, there's my battle card. May I see your battle card? Yes, you may. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, no. Here it goes I, I can't wait to see whatever crazy play Blair's made here. <laughs> Come on, Blair. Come on, Blair. Three, two, one. Lido! Lido! Oh. Do you... Do you have the Sadakar captain as your traitor? No. Oh. But I have this. Does that does that does that do anything? Is that is that good? <laughs> Did that she laser me? your shield? <laughs> Did she laser a shield? No. no. But I have placed a weapon project. <gasps> so my leader is dead. <laughs> Bless you! <laughs> Wait a second. Um, <laughs> <laughs> One. That, hold on. Fuck off. Hold on a second. That um, protects you from projectile weapon, right? This is a projectile yeah. weapon. <gasps> oh! <laughs> oh fuck! I should have just played a minimum force number. Why didn't I do that? I'm such a dumbass. You got your heat back, Blair. <laughs> Now she's so, the monster in the galaxy. Once again, back no, on top. No, this is not the case. <laughs> After oh, a I very have small trip, <laughs> now the fucking hero of the galaxy. So All right, do you I get, get five, five spice. spice. You get five spice. How cool is yes. that? Now we've gone basically from a point where you owned four fortresses and almost ended the game, and now every faction has one stronghold each. That's right. All I love of that those, swing, man. All of that I love goes a swingy away. game. Uh, so, first player token oh, swing. goes to Laurie. Uh, spice collection, no. Oh, you are collecting spice. Yeah. So I'm collecting a lot of spice. Uh, Give me all that spice, please. Not all. You get three. There you go. Oh. He only sent three lads there. Okay. Right. That was such a dumb move. Why didn't I? Because I knew, <laughs> I knew, because like, what I did was I was like, Why, what's the minimum number I need to beat yeah. one plus Duke Leto, who mm. I assumed you'd play? Yeah. I was like, oh, I need seven. Great. And I just completely forgot that you can kill my Leto. <laughs> I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> well, I deserve that, and so did you, Blair. Yay. Well done, Blair. I did something. Amazing. Your trade still suck, but yeah, fine. Aww. Such a. Right. <laughs> Turn four <laughs> begins. Laurie, roll that storm die. Oh, interesting. Six. Oh, no. So one, two. It doesn't have to be six. No, 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 no. that Hold one on. can be anything from zero to oh, six. Oh, no, you're absolutely right. What would you like it to be, Laurie? Uh, zero, please. Oh, oh, you want to keep the spice there? Yeah. All right, fair enough. You won't, you won't be killing the Fremen if you move it over. No, I know, so there's okay. not much point moving it. All right, fair enough. It's the opposite, it's currently the opposite side of the board to anything that I'm doing, so. That's smart. Okay, so storm done. Spice blow, please. Um, let's just see how this goes, okay. <laughs> is it? What is it? Is oh, it a worm? Fine. Do we need to do the worm guess? It's fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The Shia Luda here. Oh. There's another sandworm. Yay! Oh, uh, but, okay, so it does, it does say discard all spice and forces other than from in the territory showing the spice deck. However, I'm going to play this market card, spice protection. During the terms storm or spice play phase, the spice in any territories you choose is not destroyed by the storm. So I'm going to play this market card okay. and keep that spice safe. Oh, keep it safe. You're destroying this spice. Um, not destroyed by the storm or the worm, right? Forgot that the right. worm goes yeah. to anywhere there's spice, so you get rid of this. Oh, in which case... Yes, I'm getting rid of that. Cause... All right, so that spice is gone. That's been eaten by... The... So two, basically, according to the game, two worms have popped up where yeah. the last spice blows were. Uh, you do have to move your... You guys do have to ride the worm. You have to leave um, the, the space. They have to ride it? <laughs> yes. Um, let's see. You may ride the worm, so no. I'm not oh, ride the worm. okay. So you just stay there while How the could worm you appears. see the worm and not ride the worm? I ride the worm every day, son. No, this is like, this is a Tuesday for it's me. It's a busman's <laughs> holiday. 20 years into the job. Maybe some of the whimsy goes. Okay, so 10 spice, please, Adam. And, um, how do you pronounce that, Blair? Um, that is uh, Sahaya Ridge and the Greater Flat. Thank you. Alrighty, uh, Sahaya Ridge goes up here. There are the spice. 
Uh, we move down to gain cards. Everyone gain your battle cards. I need four. Okay, so um, rules question again I'm with market cards. Mm -hmm. um, can you, if I have two market cards, can I buy two and discard back to three? You can only buy um, up to a maximum of three, and I don't believe you can <coughs> just choose to discard them. So once you've got them, you've got them. Uh, which is, it kind of makes sense because these are powerful things. Yeah, I'm gonna, are we getting cards? I'm gonna spend two. Uh, excuse me. Sorry, sorry. Thank you my... very, very sorry. much. Sorry. All right, everyone good? Everyone has the cards they want? Mm -hmm. Fantastic news. All right, what we're gonna do then is move on to the revival phase. Everyone gets two forces for free into their reserves. <laughs> All right, I will pay, uh, first of all, six to get my Reverend Mother back, who I know fights for me now. And I will also pay, uh, oh, fuck it, I've got, I've got the money. I'll pay uh, another 10, uh, how many have I got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've got a bunch, so I'm gonna pay another 10 to get those forces back. Um, it's a one. It's a one-to-one -one ratio, right? Uh, after your two free revivals, you pay one per troop. Yeah. Cool. So I'm going to put three in the bank, and I'm going to get three of these dudes back out. Three here. dudes. Oh, of course. Oh, you are running low on guys, mm. though. The Fremen have fought a lot of wars for this planet. We're a warrior race. Uh, also, during the revival phase, I'm going to pay a uh, worm sign, which eliminates spice during spice blow or revival phase. Eliminate all spice in one territory. Well, I that feels unnecessary. No, I want those forces to go and do stuff. What you've basically done there is made the most productive thing I can do with that group. Come for Blair. Yeah. That's some... Yeah, that's some, that's some, that's some Imperium shit right there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, anyone else reviving forces? Uh, no. Okay. In which case, shipping and... Movement, starting with Laurie. I play Mother Load, double the spice in any territory. Whoa! I'm gonna spend seven. Oy. And I'm gonna spend four oh guys. God. You're going all out. I'm gonna send four guys here. And I'm gonna spend three more guys. You can only ship to one space. Oh, I can only ship to one space? But you can then move three. Oh, yeah. right, fine. So I'll do, I'll ship them all to the thingy and then move. So I'll ship them all here and all then right. four of them are going to go there. Interesting. The expansion of the retraction of hair has to happen. I'm going to send all 10 of my troops down. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Down to the planet they go. Uh, so that is five. There we go. <laughs> Stay there, Fremen. <laughs> there we go. And there. Stay there, Imperium, I should have said. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're not losing that one in a hurry. To be fair, unless Blair just blares you again. <laughs> There we Blair go. Blair you. And I'm moving that, uh, I'm moving six from that. Actually, no, I'll move seven because I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Moving seven from there to Carfag. Oof. All right. Okay. I'm going to spend four to put four on here. And then. gonna move just one. <laughs> oh. Just for the hell of it. Can we get some spice. Why not? <laughs> and Tom. So my five guys who've been here all along, yeah. they are gonna move. Where are they gonna move? I think first, yes. Most useful thing to do with these. The, the problem with doing that is um, 
I will likely damage my forces taking care of Blair for you and then leave a weakened Fremen army for you to then move in and kill. I think basically, yeah, you can tank that fight and just concentrate over here, probably. So. That's the choice to make, isn't it? So I can move in three territories, I can move in here. Why not? You can move through the storm. Actually, let me just double check that you can move into the storm. Yeah, I can move through the storm. Fremen forces in sand territories are not destroyed by the storm. However, they still can't move into, out of, Ooh. or through a sector in the storm. Because basically, you guys would just hunker down yeah, into the sand really with your little sand So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm kind of stuck there. So I'm going to take my five boys. And my choice is, do I go after Spice? Um, or do I go after a stronghold? Well, the thing is, yeah, the Greater Flat is your best chance of getting Spice. Um, okay. But you could also see me off. Quick but... math. Okay, so these guys move here. I go for. <laughs> so I think I'm going to move two here. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. You can divide up your forces. We're going to take that as a risk. And then I'm also going to come here for some spice. Um, and. That is what I'm going to do. So, is that the end of everyone moving? I think that's the end of everyone moving. Mark so card. I play hard to move. Uh, and I can move, I can just make an extra move now. Everyone's moved and locked in their moves. Make an extra on planet force move into any territory. I am going to move one, two, three. Oh my God. So that's one, two, three, four, seven, eight. Oh no, how many do I need? Eight? It's ten, isn't it? So. Yeah. There you go. So we've ten guys all there. The spice. So I'm going to collect all that up. That's yeah. very nicely done. Yeah. <clears throat> oh shit. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh shit. All right. Um, let's do this. It's battle time. Uh, starting with Laurie, who is in no battles. So then moving to me, who is in one battle with them damn Fremen. All right. Voice, please. Uh, could you use a poison weapon? Thank you. Thank you. All right, voice. Thank you. Let's see what I can do. Poison weapon, thanks. Love you. Bye. Now the voice, you have to understand, comes from generations of vigilance, discipline, training to create something that can compel your people to do what you want. Oh, so it sounds like this. Here are my two battle cards. Which okay. battle cards are you playing? Yeah, I'll do these two. These are both pretty... No, actually, do I want to save them, one of them for... For the Blair. Scary. The terrifying Blair. Remember, she's the protagonist. <laughs> yeah, I'll I find a way to kill you all. I think that's what I'll do for God, terrifying Blair. You said one person and wiped out my okay. ten. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> all right, here we go. You, you good? Yep. Three, two, one. You're back in the room. All right, so two and six versus two and seven. Um, weapons? Weapons, yes. I have a uh, Mauler pistol. Do you have a shield? Did you not have a poison? No poison. Ah, shit. Then I have, boom, defense, poison. <laughs> so I do not, uh, so my leader dies. <gasps> <gasps> shit. Oh. Um, and I did not use a weapon on you. Okay, so what is that useful at all, your other card? Well, this is what I played. I played Endless Ranks. Play as part of your battle plan instead of a weapon or a defense. After revealing battle plans, you may increase the number you dial to as high as the number of forces you have in the battle. You've got nine. I've got seven. So, so even with that? So even with oh, that, no. I'm fucked. Um, my other card, reveal that now? Yeah, yeah. Um, it's a one-man armor. Your leader cannot be killed. Ooh. <laughs> Yeah, well, I wouldn't have got you anyway. That's absolutely <coughs> fair. Oh, that's this a rinsing. Guy goes so away. I, lose, I lose two boys, but I gain the six, six. spice for your dead. Six spice. The spice for your dead. Ooh. <laughs> Give me the spice of Ouch, your dead. Indeed. There Ouchy you go. Bouchies. That's brutal. Eat the rich. Eat the rich. <laughs> but please, <laughs> I want it. I deserve it. My name is on the planet. Uh, right. Uh, now, this battle. Yes. May I have the oh, battle wheel? Oh, of course you can. Fuck Thank him you. up, Blair. <laughs> ah, screw it. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do both cards. Oh, shit. <sighs> Fuck. All right. What do you guys feel about me playing a card that I forgot I should have played to get my forces back? Uh, how does it work? Uh, it says during the battle for... 
Oh, no, no, we're still in the battle phase. I can use it any time. Yeah. Uh, when you must lose forces from the storm, a spice blow, sandworm, or a battle, return those forces to your reserves instead. Oh, dang. <sighs> Ooh. That's, that was that's big. Yeah. I should know. <laughs> yeah. Thank God for the market. May I see your defense card? Thank you. Okay. Get him, Is that, That's the only card you're playing? Yes. <laughs> Blair, Blair's okay. face whenever she's making any deliberation. She's like, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are we ready? Yes. Okay. Ooh, okay. So Leto versus Leo Hines. <laughs> so that's five versus seven. All right. Uh, and Blair, your battle cards, please. Projectile. Beow. And worthless card. Okay, so I had the extraction fan. So Leah Kynes is dead. Duke Leto survives. Five versus two. Hold on. Five versus two, huh? I'm going to play my market card. Yeah, Counter attack. Add four to your battle total after revealing a battle plan. Oh. 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 Holy what? shit. Fremen don't bleed. Our blood coagulates so fast. The red liquid never leaves our body. Spice phase. Spice phase. I'm just gonna get my two spice to bring me up to three. Um, uh, and I'm Blair, gonna... you get two to bring you up to three. And I'm gonna play um, space, Spice Freighter. Each force you have in one territory with spice collects five spice a piece instead of the normal two. Ooh, so I'm gonna get wow. five from the greater flat. Very nice. All right, so five for you. Thank you and very much. Five remains. I get 20 spice. 20 from that. spice. And I will also play withdraw, move off the sand. Oh my god. Oh, go very nice. Ball. Oh my gosh. All right. <clears throat> the final turn oh. of the game. I remind you, if no one owns three out of the five strongholds by the end of this game, then we do it on points. Whoever owns a stronghold gets five points for each stronghold they own plus a point for each spice they have in their spice storage. We need to be coming after this guy. <laughs> no, it's, Tom's got more. He's got, Tom's got 20. Oh, it's true. Yeah, but I'm only going to eat it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you Fremen, what are you like? Nom, nom, nom. Oh my God, right. so Tom, you become the first player. Yeah, Storm. Ah, oh, it's good to have the Storm back in my hands again. So what you want is to get the Storm past you so you can move, yeah. Four. Four. Perfect. One, two, three, four. That is where the storm ends for the game, which means these guys can't get mm. to there. But you guys can. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, spice blow. <sighs> if we see another worm, I'm going to poo myself. If we see it. <laughs> nah. Oh. <laughs> All right. So that is nine spice in South Mesa, nine spice in Habania Ridge Flat. All right, so in South Mesa. South Mesa. Uh, Habana Ridge Flat, there you go. And then Nine Spice in the other one, which is here, South Mesa. There you go. Lovely. All right, game cards. Battle cards. One, two. Oh, sorry. That's 12, isn't it? How, How many do you need, Laurie? Uh, one, two, three, four. You got full battle cards? I've got full battle cards, I'm oh, fine. In which case, I'll just collect back up to three. What am I looking so at So I'm here? just debating how much to spend on things. Right. Um, who wants to buy a market card? Not me. Um, ooh. Let's see, what have I got? If you buy a market card, you're giving him more power yeah. to move more forces. That's at true. the moment, Adam can only put three forces on the board. That's true. Yeah, in which case, it may, it may come down to a spice total at the end of this game, might it? So I'm going to hang on. All right, well, you only get two forces. Yeah, you need to save money to get your, your forces back, of course. Yeah. All right, well, in which case, if no one's buying any market cards, you goddamn fucking bastard, <laughs> then let's move to the revival phase. I'm going to take two of my gentlemen, and then I'm also going to pay uh, three to the bank to get another three gentlemen out of the gentleman tanks. <laughs> Gents out of the gentleman. The gentleman tanks. <laughs> gentleman tanks. Do, uh, I, do I have time to add gentleman tanks to my future NPC name? No, you don't. Blair, remember you it have for to me. remember okay, it. Gentleman tanks. Gentleman Gosh. tanks. Uh, uh, okay. I'm going to pay two to get two more forces. 
Uh, so I'll just do some change. Thanks. Do it. <laughs> These guys live here, so. <coughs> lads, 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 lads. Lads, lads, lads. Now movement. Gonna move two groups. I'm gonna move these guys one, two. Um, basically, my question now is do, do I move three? Do I try to. Was, was I in Celego South or East? Uh, you were south, south. south, where the spice was. Grand. So do I move two um, and basically try and pick up uh, six spice here? Um, or do I basically try and kick out Blair and get a potential up to you. five points? Either way, I think I'm probably going to send these guys into Carthag. Just to keep that nice and safe. Um, although that does mean that Laurie might come for me. That's okay. Screw it. Let's, um, let's settle this battle that got started in round one. <laughs> I'm going to pay eight. All right. And then I'm going to move. One, two, oh God. three, four. How many you got there? The, the five I moved in from the Polar Flats and then Seven. the one that was already there, so yeah. Three there. Yeah, you can't do that. Can I not? Do no, they have to all move? Can, no, I'm splitting them. You Please can't. Not. You can only move one force to one. Uh, oh, one force one, to one, one location. You can do one journey, basically. Oh, fair. Tough then. Yeah. Tom. Yes. How are you looking in this battle? <laughs> I could win, but also, yeah, I'm currently outgunned. Yeah. Mm, okay. But it, it, it would take. I, I can't win that battle by numbers alone. Harker Nets. Harker. <laughs> All right, so it's my move, and I get to move three of my guys. This is rough. Really, really rough to be so poor after being so wealthy. Because I think what I need to do, realistically, is I'm not going to win these fights. So I am going to have to bank everything on you killing Laurie. Because if I don't kill Laurie, if I go after Laurie, I'm going to lose on Spice anyway. Because Laurie's got more than me. So I have to move here. My only path to victory I see is moving there and then fight and then moving all of my forces here to the Greater Flat. Just because I can't get to another Spice Blow. The only thing I've got, I think, maybe, oh, but you then got 10 points plus the 10. My, my big lead is dead, so. Yeah. <sighs> Hang on, can I get from there to here? I don't think I can. So I would have to go one, two, three. Can't do it. And if I go one, two, can't do it. Oh, Barry, shit peas. All right. To screw that off, I'm going to have to go there in which case and i'm still gonna have to move my guys here just because i need the spice oh no all right this is gonna be rough but let's let's get it done um battle phase ah! no blair no no blair no <laughs> i'm gonna spend Sorry, two blair. jeez <laughs> And put two more here. You're not moving all three of you guys? And then... Just keeping that spice. Yeah, keeping a bit of spice. Uh, a little bit of summit in the back. A little, a little, a little snifter, just gonna, for the end. Oh, sorry, I'm going to move four into that territory. Okay, here we go. Oh boy, now, oh boy, oh boy. Look at all these unrevealed traitor cards as well. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like oh, it. All right, so starting with Tom. Tom, pick your battles. Um, so, should we get ours out of the way first? That one seems a bit more important. <laughs> you, we both seem a bit more important <laughs> than who's fighting over this last little gram of spice. Um, that is true. It's up to you. You choose the order because obviously you've got the battle cards. Yeah. I, either way, I'm going to have to fight Laurie before you do, mm. so... Yeah, alright. Oh, you're fighting Laurie. Interesting. Oh, interesting. <sighs> Laurie takes another traitor card, takes another traitor, puts it at the bottom. Oh, interesting.
Interesting. Okay. Okay, got me two cards down. Paying two battle cards. Oh, you're only in, why are you in three fights? One of them, those, those five spice are basically yours, aren't they, mate? I really want them, Tom. <laughs> um, I, it, it, would be, it would be foolish of me to sort of, you know, waste resources on that. See, the brilliant thing here is, I think Tom's gonna try and kill my leader, but I want my leader to die, because if my leader dies and Tom's leader dies, and I win the battle, I <laughs> get all of that sweet spice. Beast Raban, I'm sorry, mate. You're going. Okay, so Laurie, you've revealed your battle cards. I've revealed my battle cards. You've got your force, you've got your leader. Let's see those battle wheels. So Beast Raban, oh. nine! Jesus. Versus, so that is nine plus five, 14, versus 11. Now let's see <clears throat> your battle cards. Do you have an attack card? I do. I've got a poison weapon. Oh, oh no. no! My defense is a shield. Oh, oh no! no! So my Dead. leader dies. Oh. But your other card? My other card is a Harkonnen Blade, which Ooh. kills an opponent's leader. Unless. Can't be stopped. Oh. So, oh, leader oh. dies, but that's but, good. That's, that's good, good for Laurie, because now yeah, it's five versus nine, which means. And um, so also just, 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 just over Harkonnen nice. Blade, what did you block the blade with? Uh, I didn't block the blade, you killed my leader. Cool. Yeah. But it's five against nine. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, the, the only way I could have won that would have been by my leader surviving and your leader dying. All these guys go to the tanks and oh, Laurie unfortunately takes five so plus six is 11, 11 spice. spice for winning the battle. You're on 21, right, mate? 21. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I've got to kick Blair out. Oh, yeah, I've got to kick Blair out. So you're on 21. Uh, 26 points in total, counting your fortress. But oh, yeah. he also has three... I've got two fortresses. Oh, you have so two? Wait. I've got, I'm over here, I'm oh, here, and I'm no, here. Three. So, so you... Not yet he doesn't. Not oh. yet. I don't own that one because it's in conflict. Yeah. Yes. But I'm going to get... Okay, next battle. Um, Adam, let's get this out of the way with... <laughs> sure. Do I have to commit a leader? <laughs> Pun? Do I have to commit a leader? If you've got a leader, yes. Um, yeah, I'm not going to play any battle cards. Um, I'm going to keep them for the... Oh, these are my discards. I'm going to keep these... Oh, oh no, wait a minute, maybe I'll play one. Ooh, maybe I will play one, hold on. All right, there's my battle card. Uh, I'm gonna use the voice on you. I'm gonna ask you not to play um, a poison weapon, I guess. Um. <sighs> my powers over the voice have, yeah, have failed just... me. <laughs> the Imperium is crumbling. Lost so it's just much. like, well, it's just like, you know, it's. It's all, very, it's all very appropriate. If you, if you want to, yeah. I guess. In, in which don't case, use that. in which case, yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna play any battle cards. Oh, okay. Um, as a result of the voice and my desire to be agreeable. <laughs> Fair. All right, I'm ready when you are. Go for it. Three, two, one. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, I, I have played a weapon, poison, killed Jamis. Uh, sorry, sorry Jamis. Jamis. <laughs> <laughs> we will find justice for Jamis. Justice for Jamis! <laughs> okay, so Blair, it's yep. you and me. Um, you've got two in the game. Yep. But three. I'm so nervous. <laughs> Why am it's I so such, nervous? It's such a tense little war game, isn't it? And only five uh... turns. I do like how lean it is. It's lean and oh. mean and really tricky. And I have played some fucking appalling turns this game. Okay. May I see your... Oh God, I have to choose whether it's a weapon or a defense, don't I? Yeah. Huh. Card played on the weapon side, card played on the defense side. And if uh, Tom hasn't played... Uh, if you ask for a weapon and Tom hasn't played one, you get to see yeah. nothing. Can I see your... weapon? Oh! Oh! oh. 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 <laughs> great poker face. Or maybe, legitimately, if Cosmic tells us anything, great poker face. Oh no, I just need to reread how it <laughs> The longer you look at the card, it won't help you. Okay. On the bright side, no matter what happens, you're still getting a nice bit of spice from just outside the city walls. That's true. That's true. That's a lot of spice. All right, Tom, you've played your battle card. Blair, battle. you've played your battle cards. I'll just pop them yeah. there. Um, leaders in. Yep. Let's see it. Oh 
Okay, so Stilgar gets you a seven. Yeah. Gurney Hallett gets you a total of four. All right, let's see your battle cards. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. Okay, laser gun. Automatically kills opponent's leader. Oh no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, yeah! <laughs> The laser hits the shield yeah. and causes a thermonuclear explosion that destroys everything. Yeah, I had to. It went boom! Oh, oh, I've played so many games of June and I've never seen the laser hit the shield. It all went boom! This is it. This is the battle that decides the game. I'm ready if you are. Mm. Battle wheel, please. Oh. Uh, right. My three versus your two. So you both have two territories each, is that right? Yeah, afraid so. And there are my two cards. Right there. <sighs> Hello. Are you going to ask me for anything? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I suppose. Could you not play? I oh, don't. Doesn't matter. Could you not play a special weapon? I suppose. Certainly. All right. Here goes nothing. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh. oh. Thank Lord. All right. So, five versus six. Mm -hmm. Battle cards. <laughs> All right, so you kill my leader. Mm -hmm. What I have done is I've used a slow dart. Yep. Regardless of defense played, your leader's strength is zero. So it's still two versus one, and I had three to my total, which means I have five versus one. Whew. That is an Imperium victory. But it might not matter. That is the end. Uh, spice collection. I collect this five spice. I get this, except... I, I won the two. battle and I put my Saudakar captain in, which means I get four spice for his death. Mm -hmm. Right. No one owns all... Are you, yep, you gained your spice. Yep. No one owns three out of the five. So what we do now is we add up points. Starting, I think with Tom and ending with Laurie. So it is no strongholds left for the Fremen, so just spice, and I have 24 spice. Nice, so 24 points. I have nine. <laughs> no, that's right, you nine don't have any strongholds. points. <laughs> oh, the oh. poor Atreides. Uh, <laughs> but you're so beautiful. <laughs> so I have two strongholds, which is 10 points. I have... 11 spice, which is uh, 21, 21 points. Oh. I have this market card, which what? is a spice stockpile. Endgame is worth eight spice if it is in your hand at the end of the game. So I have ended with 29 spice. Oh my gosh. So I've got two strongholds, so I get 10 points. Yeah. And I have 21 spice. Ah! 31. 29 ah. is not bigger than 31. Laurie! The good guy Harkonnen! Harkonnen! Yay for the Harkonnens! <laughs> Although the Fremen are sad to see someone else lay claim to the planet, at least it was the lovable Harkonnen. Thank you! Delicious beast raban. Your your the spice from your bud from your butt? I don't know. Where's the spice come from? It comes from butts somewhere, from someone's butts. I've got a lot of butt spice and I won the game. Jesus. This is your planet. Congratulations. What are you gonna do with it? Shave it. <laughs> <laughs> Good game, everyone. That was, that was a proper board game, as they say in the hobby. Thank you so much for watching this. Join us next week when we will be playing 
Chinatown. One of my favorite games. It's one of my favorite games. Uh, right, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next week. One, two, three. Get on board. Get on board. My planet.